Hi everyone, we are back with another interesting circuit. This time, San Yu Radio RP7160 audio circuit. And we got it from that radio because we repaired it. There is a link in the description for that workshop if you missed it. Now, we were confused, if you remember, how it can be a vintage radio while it is using an integrated circuit for radio stages. But still, it is using transistor audio circuit. This transistor audio circuit. Now, this audio circuit is absolutely perfect. With only four transistors, it can produce a clean and perfect output. The loudness and bass is absolutely fantastic. You can compare it to the famous TEA2025, except it is not a two-channel circuit. It's not a stereo. So the components are used in the radio are four transistors. Two of them are PMB and two of them are NBN. The first one, this transistor, is C4, C945. It is NBN. The other one here is E733. It's PMB. The third here is 9013. It's NBN. And the last PMB one, 9012. It is absolutely fantastic with minimum components producing a very, a very rich and quality audio output. This is a picture of the connections of the circuit, as you can see here from the real radio. And here it is from top view. It is called Victoria. I always use this top view for all my sketches and, um, you know, and diagrams. Uh, and I already have prepared a schematic for this circuit and used different transistors, of course. But this is the real schematic for the radio circuit. As you can see, the, the transistor number one is two in the famous 2N3904, which is transistor two, it's S9012. This is PMB. The third one is S9013. And the last one is the famous PC557, it's a PMB. I think our next step now will be to resemble it on the project board. Okay, this is the circuit on the project board. Okay. We need a power supply of 6 volts. I forgot to tell you that it's working on 6 volts and 5 volts. Alright, so we have this compartment. It is producing exactly 6 volts. So let's just connect them to the board, to the circuit. We need also an outside speaker. This is the outside speaker. This is the positive side be put in here and then again it will be put on the ground or the common which is here right what is left is the audio source for that we will use our weak output mp3 player okay this is one side that can go to the signal Connect the other side to the common ground. Okay, let's test it. Battery on and MB3 player. On. It's a very loud outfit. You can notice how clear this outfit is. It's real fantastic. Clear 
Audi there's no clipping and it's, it's really you know because the transistor audio output most of the times it's this audio circuit you suffer from clipping So as you can see, it's really fantastic. And there was a lot of question marks on the schematic because there was some confuse. But we have also added some uplifts and changes to the circuit to configure it for the better. This is going to be shown on the diagram. We we'll go back to the diagram to analyze the circuit. We can find out that the first transistor NPN is actually class E Lion Air amplifier. And it's using a uh, voltage divider for biasing of the, of, the, of the base. Now, and we can understand also that it is actually cobbled with another BNB transistor because this will increase the voltage. This also can increase also the amperage, and that's okay. But if you go to this place, you can see that those two transistors seems to be a complementary pair but it is not because one of them through it is collector is actually connected to the ground that's very strange now we don't know what happened here is this a bootstrap is it bootstrapping the biasing for the two transistors or this transistor using this capacitor connected resistor r8 because i don't know actually i have to tell you maybe or maybe not so what I'm saying is also, you can see that it is using a diode to prevent what is called thermal runway or heating of the two transistors. And it is good, but we use two actually. All right, now let's go to these changes that we already have done to this circuit to make it even more better and nice. First of all, we have canceled the emitter transistor here to increase the gain. And we have added two capacitors ceramic capacitors between the base and collector and the base and emitter for the this one is four seven three i'm sorry could it four seven two this is for the com the uh, the collector and four seven three this is for the emit okay then we added also another one here in between the collector and the base and that is coded as one zero two ceramic capacitors and we also added another another resistor here <coughs> one 
820 ohms to the positive rail after the R6. It's connecting after the R6. Okay. Also, we added another diode in series to the side to become two diodes. All right. I took them from this beautiful damaged power supply from here only to increase the safety and to minimize or to eliminate the possibility of thermal runaway for those two transistors that actually contributes a lot to the stability of this circuit now i will leave a picture for this circuit at the end of this video so you can actually pause the video after download and save it to your uh, system then you can print it out and you can actually make this beautiful circuit and enjoy the output and quality audio thank you and see you soon